Welcome back to another episode of our Omega Ruby playthrough. My name's Brandon. We're here today. I think I fixed the audio. That being said, I listened to it a little bit. I did a little test recording and it sounds a little, a little bit choppy. So I'm going to do it with this episode. We'll see how it comes out at the end. And if it sounds like absolute garbage, I apologize. Uh, be prepared. It's won't, it won't be too loud. I know that's fine. It shouldn't be too loud, but it might just sound bad. So keep that in mind. I know it might happen and, and we'll fix it for the next episode if I really don't like it on this one. But we're here uh, exactly where we were left off at the last episode. And I believe we uh, we have to go rescue Pico. So let's make sure that everyone looks good on the team. This is our team so far. Everything is um, working up fine. Lily is finally caught up. Stardust is a little bit behind, but that's okay. So we're going to head right on in to the next area into the little cave here. See if we can get this item. A Pokeball. Perfect. You know, we kind of need those sometimes when we're doing a playthrough of a game of a Pokemon game. I'd say we need Pokeballs. So having a free one isn't uh, the worst thing in the world. And we might just use it now on what's probably going to be a Wizmer. Although we might have already caught one of those, huh? I don't really remember. I think I remember one moment to the next. I don't. We did. We already caught one. That's okay. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna run. I don't want to deal with it. I couldn't get away. Lily, you suck. Still couldn't get away. Lily, you suck. Alright. I'm not gonna let Lily die. Let's switch into Gerald, and then we'll run away. I'm thinking Lily might need to be a little bit uh, less low taddy in order to succeed, so... We might kind of put Lily on the back burner until she turns into a Lombre. So we're going to move her out of the front. I don't want to, I don't want that shit to happen anymore. Hmm. I'm actually going to put Max right up the front. That Surskit. Pretty useful. Hi. Oh my gosh. No, I'm going to, I'm going to come closer again. Hello. You didn't make your getaway. Music sounds pretty good. I think it figured itself out. Sounds like it figured itself out pretty well. That's a pooch. I wonder if we'll be able to beat you with our Surskit. We are lower leveled. We'll see then. We'll see. Well, Stinger's not going to get its power up from from killing you because, well, you know we're gonna. It's a you, you only have one. You only have one Pokemon. <laughs> But I do think we'll succeed as long as this bite doesn't kill us. And that bite did a lot. So we're going to take a risk here. But I think, I think it worked out. We're good. We're good. We'll go heal up later. We'll have to go back to Restboro anyway. Max grew to level 12. Get a little bit of that health back. Wanda grew to level 12 as well. Wants to learn Absorb. I'm totally cool with that. I like Absorb. I don't really care for String Shot. Da. Forget the string shot and Wanda with the lowercase w learned absorb. Stardust, named after our ever loved David Bowie. And Lily both leveled up. Remind me what natural gift does. The user draws power to attack by using its held berry. I don't have a held berry. I'm probably not going to give you a held berry. I'll probably forget to constantly give you a held berry. So let's uh, let's not learn natural gift. All right. I defeated the magma grunt. I think literally everyone on the team except for except for our um, our starter leveled up there. This is plain old not right. Boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal with some parts from Devin. You want them back that badly? Then take them. I channeled my inner Jerry Seinfeld for that one. It wasn't the best, but that's just what came out. Guys, the voices are probably going to change every single episode. Oh, you got the Pico! My God! Thank you. <laughs> oh, Pico owes you her life and freedom, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Oh, so it's Brandon, yeah, is it now? Okay, thank you. I sincerely thank you. If there's ever anything I can do, then help me in turn, you know, just don't hesitate. Tell me, tell me, do the thing, you know, I, yeah, I can, I'm down by the place of the, like, in the woods before, you know, I'll bring you down to the city. The city, the city, we'll bring you down to the place. Perfect. 
There's an island. Oh lord. You were not there before. Hi. Well, I, I kind of scared that skiddy away. Okay, so. All right, we're good. We're, we're here. Rustboro City with the X on the sign. Let's go heal. Listen, guys, I know, I know. I'm using the directional pad because I'm playing like this. It's easier. Healing up is important. Bing, 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 ding, ding. Thank you for waiting. You're welcome. Pokemon is giving that nurse right there. They're giving her a Pokemon card, a full art card in the next uh, uh, Sword and Shield set. <laughs> I'm excited. It looks good, I think. You did it! Oh, I got them back. <laughs> They're really a great trainer. I know. Now's nah, my thing, so I'll give you a great ball. Oh my god, I have great balls. One ball. Uno ball. Uno ball -o? All right, we're going upstairs, guys. I'm not even doing this work myself. That is a tall building with a Zubat on the front. Is that what that was? This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you just wait here for a moment? I literally don't know what voice I used for that guy before. Give something nervous. Like, uh, our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Uh, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> Please go ahead. I am Mr. Stone, the Devon Corporation president. I heard just now how we have quite a bit to thank you for. <laughs> so you helped out the staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask you of a reliable trainer like you. I just want to know. I just want you to know I'm a president that you can trust. Oh my gosh, now I have to change it. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Poke Nav for a plus for a moment. The function I just added to your Poke Nav Plus is called Buzz Nav. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer who's traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region. Fake news, I might add, and you're from your own friends anytime and any place. Now, let me get to the important issue of what I need you to do. It's going to be huge, guys. This is a huge issue. I just I need you to letter, de deliver this letter to an old compadre of mine named Steven. You should find him in Duford. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. I know it's not a perfect accent, guys. I can't for copyright purposes. I'll ask Mr. Briny. I'll do the work for you. The old sailor. Say, 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 sailor? Say, uh, the, the old guy that lives in that hut on Route 104 to help with the crossing. Go to him and he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure what to do, just come and talk with me again. I am the best. I have the best words. I am in charge of everyone. Now, why are you sitting in my chair? Get out of my office. You're fired. I mean, you're not fired. I still need you to do the thing I asked you to do, but like, get out of my office. But that being said, I'm going to call you right after you leave my office. Oh, hey, Brandon, have you been you've been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm I'm doing pretty good on that front, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in the Petalburg Woods that I ran out of balls. You hear that, Brandon? I have no balls. Oh, yeah, I passed Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. I, 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 I guess he's, he must have been on his way home his cottage on route 104 because you know 
the the president guy up there uh, didn't tell you that at all. He just moved here, so there's no way you could know, but he was once a highly respected seafarer. See, we know things. Even though I lived in that town all by myself for so long, I just I can't even keep up with life around here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Brandon, Brandon, help me. Okay, I'm done. Good evening. Thank you. You're welcome. Bing, bing, mid ding All right, let's go. Music sounds pretty good. I can hear it. I think it's fine. So the exciting thing about getting to for Town is, guys, the fishing rod. We get ourselves a fishing rod. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Then we're gonna come over to the right in here, the right, the right in this way, and cut down this one right here. Prickly thorns, wild prickleberries. Oh, that would be where we get ourselves a leafy on, I think. Now we officially have great balls. What are you? Let's encounter this thing with the spiky tail. Oh! I'm scared. Oh my god, it's a shroomish. I'm gonna catch this. I am going to catch this shroomish. Let's see. Pokeballs. Pokeball, Pokeball. I don't think I really need to do much. Perfect. All right, cool. Do 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 Oh. There is... We need to find... That's what we need to find. I need to get myself as early as possible. I need to get myself a... I can't. Awkward. What else? Mm. Oh, I can hear it. It's definitely acting up. <sighs> yeah. I don't think there's anything else in here I really need. Let's jump down. Oh, there's that item right there that we couldn't get before. It's an X attack. Okay. Okay. And then there's this item. And here we are. So, I am going to take... Uh, when we get the chance, I'm going to take Lily. And I'm going to do that solely so that we can get suction cups. It's going to be a little bit of a ways away. But once we get ourselves suction cups, then I'll be able to very easily chain fish. I'm sorry, I was kind of... Moving while looking that up. I want to get my ability to chain fish really easily so that we can maybe shiny hunt. <laughs> Along the way, get ourselves another shiny Pokemon for the playthrough. I don't have a Wingo? Well, that's just, that's just not going to do right now. We're not going to deal with it. I don't really care. Yeah, so we're going to get ourselves a Lily... I think that's going to be the easiest Pokemon for us to get that has suction cups. The other option would be to get a Pokemon with sticky hold, but we can't really get one of those early game in this game. We'd need to trade over from X or Y, and I have one of them. I could trade over a, uh, I could trade over an Inke right now if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to. The Lotad I feel is different because we were already past the route in which we could get Lotad in this game if Lotad spawned in this game. I got it on the route right before this. Right before Petalburg. So that's my opinion on that. I decided to 
Oh, that scene is in 3D. So I decided to, to shiny hunt the Lotad and trade it over because uh, we, we could, if we were playing Omega Ruby, or sorry, Alpha Sapphire, we could have gotten it in this game. Uh, and we just happened to find the Zigzagoon along the way. But to trade a Pokemon into the game that we can't technically get in the game yet at this point feels like it might just be a little bit not the way to do it. All right, we're here in Duford. We are going to get ourselves the fishing rod real quick. After we heal, of course, let's talk to some people in here. I know where the fishing rod is. It's not in here, but I just want to see if any of these people give me anything important. And I don't think they do. Thank you. Perfect. Amazing. We'll go find Stavon Stoney after Stavon Stoner. But this guy right here, he's the one that gets the fishing rod. There it is. Look at that old rod. Perfect. And I'm going to register that right away. Okay. And we'll test it. So let's register. Get the old rod going over here. Register. Perfect. 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 Where's a good spot? Fish with it. Let's go this way. Is there an item over here? There is. This is Route 107, huh? Let's test it right here. I reeled in too slow. What are you talking about? There we go. Close your eyes. Listen to the sound. We got ourselves a magic harp, and I think that's the only thing we can probably get on this route. So I'm going to try my, my, uh, Try my, myself at chain fishing real quick. So guys, I'm gonna cut the video and come back to when I either break the chain or get a shiny. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's where I'm gonna leave that. It didn't work, guys. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> we'll come back to it later. We'll pick ourselves up when you know we can actually chain fish because we'll have suction cups. For now, I'm in this house. You, I need to sit down to talk to you? Oh, I'm sitting down to talk to both of you, huh? Nice. That was just a house. There's a gym here. We'll come back and battle that in the next episode. What's up, girl? What's up, bruh? What's up, Chico? Oh my god, what is in? Pokeball. Masters. Pokeball Masters. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Awesome. I don't know what that was all about. Let's go this way. Um, good. Okay. I'm going to avoid all the battles that I can right now. We'll come back and we'll do those ones in the next episode. But we will get a granite cave encounter. Is it a Zubat? It's a Zubat. Yep. I expected that. I don't even want to battle this thing. Ooh, go away. Mer. All right. This way. This cave is like super fast in, in this. Uh... Bye. Flash. Thank you. I don't even... Can I not come this way? Am I wrong? I thought I had to come in here to talk to... Talk to the dude. Stavon. Hi. Okay. Do I have to beat the gym first? 
I have to beat the gym first. That's just, that's big sad. I might have to beat the gym first. Incredibly unfortunate. I have to beat the gym first. Big awkward. It's the fighting gym? We're good. Hi. I think we'll be fine. Let's let's get through as much of this as we can. Maybe we'll get to the gym leader and we'll take the gym leader on in the next episode. We'll find out See how long this takes. I'm a little bit... I have a little bit of time. I spent some time chain fishing that I'm just going to cut right out of the video. It's gonna endure. We'll go to the one with the flying type move, and then we'll switch Wanda right into the front. Don't hurt me. Don't do it. Scary. Dust. Meditating. Okay. Got it. Meditate. Meditate. I I see the bun the pun. Come on. And attack. Ow. I'm okay. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Cool. Well, no, oh, that's a that's a noise. You could say, oh, something's evolved. Mudkip is evolving. Gerald, Gerald, you're growing up so fast, Gerald. Oh, the Marsh Stomp already. You heard it here first, guys. Episode five, Marsh Stomp. Episode five, Gerald evolved into a Marsh Stomp. Gerald wants to learn the move Mudshot. But Gerald already knows four moves. Should a move be deleted and replaced with Mudshot? Growl can go. One, two, and ta-da! Bye-bye, Growl. And hello, Mudshot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, right. I forgot how this gym worked. All right, Hideki. Hey, Black Belt Hideki, use the mud chop. Beautiful, I go. Use Gust. And not one shot. Focus energy. And dead. I think we win. We're good, bro. Nice job. Thanks, Machop. Okay. Next episode. Not next episode. The next section. Headbutt. Maybe I want headbutt. Stardust. Yeah, that's better than tail whip. Get rid of tail whip. <laughs> Lily turned to level 13. Yay! Okay. You see enough? Got it. Got it. Pattern on that one's a little bit tricky. Go Wanda! Go Wanda? Did that reference anybody? You and your meditating. Meditates and they're meditates and they meditate because they're meditate. No. Oh. Doesn't do you much good, does it? Oh, you protect. I attack, but you protect. 
No, none of that. Level 13's good. Tessa sent out Machop. Guys, I'm in like focus mode. Let's uh let's gust again. Hey, that was a one shot. Nice. And that battle's over. Started singing in my head. Defeated Tessa. In Tessa. And we did it. Sweet. Guys, we made it to, I want to say Brawly. If I remember correctly, we made it over to Brawly. We are going to take Brawly on in the next episode. I'm going to let him do his, you know, on his, on a, for a little while. We'll let him kind of ring there. So uh, tell me, guys, what is your favorite generation of game? I just need to know. It can be Gen 1, it can be Gen 8, it can be anything in the middle. Uh, there are wrong answers. Uh, but let me know what your favorite generation game is. Uh, if you want to be specific, like you want to say Ruby or uh, Crystal, that's fine. If you want to just say, I really like Gen 4, your choices. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Helps me, feels good. Uh, it does help the channel, of course, as well. The more people who like the video, the more people see the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.